this here is the shape of our window frame. So we know that. So if we do a, a control, we'll move that. Actually, we won't move it across just yet. What we need on the window frame as well is we're putting bricks around the edge, like little soldiers, I think they call it. And also we want a piece of the bottom for a windowsill. Now, if you draw it like this, we know the window is going to fit in the gap. Windowsill, I've measured that up as well, 0.16, uh, 1.6 and 2 mil high. Yeah. What this can do is we can put this on our face of our wall and we can build off this. So it's actually a bit of a, a, a guide more than anything. Now, what we needed to do was, if I delete this outside one, I mean, you're all okay with oh, that one. So we've got the outline of our window and we've got our window seal. <clears throat> now we want these soldier bricks, uh, I think they're called. So we'll measure, I think, them 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So these need to go all the way around. <clears throat> so what we need to do is offset this wall. Now at the moment it's in one, it's in various sections. So if we click on all the sections of this part, right, I'm going to have to move the, I've got my bar in the way here. There we go. Uh, click on this and go to the top. There's another plugin, Super Weld. Click on weld and it's welded. It should have welded. Yeah, it's welded the frame together. Yeah, the bottom bit's not welded, but the frame, this is here. So what we need to do is click on the left side, offset. Come on here and then just offset this frame by 0.3. There we go. And that is where our bricks will run around. Okay, and our windowsill. So we can actually delete that. We don't need that, I don't think. And we can delete that. So we're back to where we was. The header part, we will have to fill in it after because when we stretch it, it makes a funny shape and I'm not sure of the shape. So we delete this all here. So we want a, a load of soldier bricks to go around the top. So that's three mil. Now we want to know the length of this flat line here. So if we click on it, if we go to our entry info, we see there it's 4.44 meters. So what we need to do is we get the oblong tool. We'll go along in a line. If it's bottom right in corner, you can type in 4.44, do a comma, and then the point three, enter. That will wrap around there. So that's perfect for there. Now what we need to do is double click on here, right click, and we'll make a group of that. Place is reverse first. Now we want some bricks. So we've got oblong tool. And uh, if you look at the right hand corner there, so we do a, a point three, uh, comma point two. I'm not, not sure. I suppose I could measure them, couldn't I? How uh, wide these bricks were. Point three. Oh, point one five. And a gap of point three. Right, so uh, we go on Windows. So we do a Control Z on there. We draw a box. Uh, point three comma point one five. Enter. Now we had space of point oh three. Enter. 
I'll go, I'm not sure how deep these are either. So we can go back, measure along the edge, 0.1. All right, so we'll get our brick, we'll pull it up, first surface, pull it up, 0.1, enter. Double click or triple click, right click, make a group. All I need to do is grab this one, we do a control along the red axis and move it to that line, our, our grout line, basically our, our mortar line. Click on, we'll do a, I'm not sure how many are going to fill it. So if we do a times 20, and all it does is multiplies that by 20 times. And it's probably too long. Nope. So we come back and we do a, don't have to do anything else, do a, do a times 25 and it'll add some more until we can fill that up. There we go, 25. So we click on that end brick, not needed. Now it's not exactly, but what you can do is if we click on the underneath, that's our, our guide we put in there. Right click and hide that. And we'll make all them bricks there one group. Make a group. And then we'll edit and hide that bottom piece. And then what we can do is click on the scale tool. Click on the middle and then we can scale this back till it references. You see, that's our run, that's our length of our wall. There we go. So we're good. Width-wise, space tool. Right. So what we need to do though is make a header, isn't it? I'm not sure where the middle is. If we click on, we might probably find the better on the bottom. Find the middle. No, it's showing the bricks, isn't it? I think that's why I split it in half. We'll hide the bricks. We'll find the middle of here. Click on the end. Go along. There we go. There's the middle. Right. Edit. Unhide the last one, which was your bricks. Now, depending on what header you want, that's the middle one. What we can do is we come in here, select the bricks, double click to open the group, but then you have to double click again to open that group. So we've got that, that brick face there and we can pull that up, uh, point one. And by the looks of it, that will be our header brick idea. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what they call it, the bit at the top. Right, now we want to bend this around that, that frame there. So, we come in, we'll draw a line. Now this, this line must be along the red axis, and we are working along the red axis here. Draw the line as long as the bricks. And then we'll move that line, if we can get it. And we'll go up just a tab to take it off the bricks. So all we've done is draw a line, a reference line. Then we want to go, we'll select the, all the bricks. And then we'll come up to this plugin called Shape Bender. We'll click on. And at the bottom there, it says, please select a single line that lies on the red axis. Now, this is the line we're after, the one we just drew. We'll click on that, the start and the end. And then we click on our arch. Oh. Obviously, the arch is not. That's arch. Perhaps if we delete that line there, perhaps it's getting confused with that. Try again. So we click our bricks, shape bender on the line. 
around the arch. Now that has wrapped them around the arch, as you can see. Now if you press, I think it's the up arrow, it will bring it on the inside of the arch. Up arrow on the outside. When you're happy, just press enter. And that's our, our bricks. And they're all laid along there nicely. So if we get that, we'll hide that. So I'll tell you what we need is that bottom bit underneath. And we'll draw that line back in. There we go. And we delete that. And right click reverse face and right click reverse face. Right, if we make that duplicate that, because I think we need that to, for our bricks. Control on the red axis, we just duplicate it. And we do an edit, unhide the last, and that was there. And then we'll want to put the bricks, uh, the window on the bricks. We'll just move that across. We're going on the red axis. We can't place it in proper position yet because we need to take this over to the uh, wall. So first thing we oh, we can take both over. Highlight both them. Yep, copy. We'll go to our box. And then we'll go, we'll do a paste. Why is it always not go the way you want it to go? And then we'll click on the rotate tool with the red up 90. And then we go right. Now we want to put this object here on both sides of this, and it'll say it's easier to lay our bricks on the top. So if we right click make a group, we can put that one. Just case of sliding it in there, that should fit. If we pick the middle. It's not the middle, is it? We'll click an edge. There we go. And then we'll click on control along the red, red axis. If we click the window, we'll do a control on the red axis. Click on there. We'll click on there, we'll click on this one, we'll cut them, double click on the group, edit post in place, and then we'll explode that one, and we'll explode that one. So now, when we go to lay our bricks, it will only lay the bricks on the shaded part, so we can lay them on this part, this part and this part. Now what we can do is we've got a window. We'll put a window in first, click the click the window, go around the back, find a corner, lift it up, or we can do an up arrow into that corner. Oh, wrong one. Click on up arrow. Click on the corner. <laughs> I'll try that again. I'll click on the window. Do the move tool. Up arrow. Up arrow. Sometimes it works. And we do a control along the red axis. Do a pick tool. Move. Control, red axis, we now move. Control, we'll get it. Control, red axis, move. And then we'll put in our bricks and our window seal. Same thing. 
We'll do an up. Pick. Actually, we'll pick the, the whole lot. Move tool in the centre, up on the bottom, up, up, and then we do control red there. So there we go. And then we want double click on the windowsill and we'll pull this one out to the bottom of the bricks, double click again, and we'll pull that one out. We want to double click that and double click that, and we'll make a group of it so it's not in there. And click the windows, right click, and we'll make a group. Now, if we want to do any work or change it, if we right click and hide it, it hides all that stuff, but we don't. 